Hi everybody, so it's been a while since I've uploaded. I had a few subscribers about the Fluval M90 Reef Aquarium. Had it pre set up pretty well. Had loads of corals in there, had some decent fish in there. It was all going fine. Um, and we're going back a few years now, if you look at my channel from the latest Fluval M90 update that I did. Um, but long story short, I've moved house a few times. I kept the tank, never set it up again. We're literally talking about three years I've had this tank uh, in storage, had it in my garage, had it in my friend's farmyard, uh, in a storage and, and, and so on and so on. But I bought a house, I've moved in, I've been here about a month or so, done a bit of painting, and uh, it's time to set up the Fluval M90 again. So I thought this would be a great little YouTube um, series. We'll do the, the the YouTube uh, series of the Fluval M90 setting up again from the beginning. So I'm just sat on the landing. This is where the fish tank is going to go. So I'll spin the camera around and show you the position. But essentially, come up the stairs, top of the stairs, you know, there's just a landing. The, the fish tank fits perfectly on the wall just behind me. Uh, so I'll show you what we're going to do. So as you come up the stairs, there is a landing here, got a radiator on the left and a window. This section here fits perfectly for the tank. To the right, got the office, and then behind me, you've got some bedrooms. But tank fits perfectly there. The only problem is there's no plug sockets. Uh, if we go up onto the landing, uh, if we go up onto the landing and look back, oh, we'll go back here. There are some plug sockets here, but we don't really want to run them around. So we're having an electrician come in tomorrow. He's going to put a plug socket down to the bottom. I'm still deciding whether to put the bottom or actually put it higher up. So if there's any leaks or whatever, it doesn't go into electrics, but we'll decide that tomorrow. We'll see what's easiest and what we can do. Uh, but the tank's going to go there. We can just have a look in here. The tank is inside the house. So sitting back there, there's a good chance to look at the rear chambers here. So the water comes in goes down to the bottom, goes through the bottom chamber, comes back up, goes across the top, and then it actually just flows across the top. So a lot of people say there's problems sucking it back down, but we'll, we will look at what we're gonna put in where. So we're gonna probably put in a um, protein skimmer. We'll probably look, look at putting some media in here, maybe some carbon or something like that. So a lot of the, the uh, equipment that we had, we've got rid of. Um, We'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, this is where the tank's going to go. We, we'll go from the beginning, from just a blank empty space, putting the electrics in, put the tank back in. We'll look at filling the tank up, cycling it, putting some live rock in. And then we'll look at uh, sticking some corals and fish back in. Okay, so the electrician's in. We're struggling with the height because we've got to come from a socket on the other side of the room. So we can, we're not going to get it towards the bottom anyway. So we tried, we shot the first shot this wall, but we want it on the back hidden so you can't see it. So we've come in here, put a socket on the back, be covered up by the tank, you won't see it. The tank's gonna be there for a couple of years anyway, so that's fine. So this is the office around the back of the fish tank. So we're having to spur off of this. So we've got a socket off at the wall, just where a TV goes. Um, so we've drilled diagonally down uh, into where the fish tank is gonna go. So it's actually easier for us to get the sockets up higher uh, anyway, so that's where we're going to go. Okay, so the electrics are now in. They are coming around to the other side here. So quite high up, be good for any water issues. You're not going to see it. It's going to be hidden by the tank. So yeah, pretty good. Okay, so now the socket's in and, and on. All we need to do is, not going to be able to sit anyway, but we're going to fix that wall up there. We're going to fix that wall where we shot through earlier. So literally a bit of polyfiller, I've got these paint uh, testers just to save getting all the tins of paint out. This is going to be nice and easy, job done. So we will get that uh, wall fixed, fixed up and then we can start looking at getting the fish tank in. Okay, so a bit more progress. The tank is in at the top of the stairs. We have put a return pump in. We've gone for a TMC 2500 with like a little reef pump controller so we can use that. To, the reason I want, don't really want much for a return pump, but it's nice to be able to turn it off just to do feed modes. Um, so you can control all this from the app, so pretty reasonably priced as well. So we've gone for that. We've dug out a Maxvec gyra. Uh, we already had this sitting in the loft, so we're gonna go back with that again. Just feeding some of the cables through at the moment. So 
yeah, we'll get it all rigged up electronically. I have got a 150 liters of salt water. Uh, no, sorry, RO water. And I am sticking with what I always go with. Well, because I like a coral tank, so I'm going for the Red Sea Coral Reef Pro uh, salt. So, yeah, we're in the next hour or so, I'm hoping to get the rest of the electronics in here. Um, we'll dump a load of RO water in. Because it's uh, the tank's going from the beginning and we haven't really got much there, what we'll do is we'll just mix the salt water in the tank this first time around. There's no point mixing it up and then putting it in there. There's no live rock, there's no coral, there's no nothing in there. So we'll dump a load of salt in there and we'll, uh, we'll turn the tank on for a few days, let it mix up. Okay, so we've got about 175 litres of RO water there. We've got the Red Sea Coral Pro Salt and we have got some substrate. So first thing we do, we're gonna go wash out the substrate and then we'll start dumping the water uh, upstairs and we'll mix in some salt. Okay, so what we're gonna do, because the substrate causes loads of mess when it uh, first goes in. This is not live sand or anything like that. I've got a little uh, Pico reef going anyway. So I'm gonna take some of the rocks I've got out there and the sand I've got out there to um, give it some biological uh, boost at the beginning. So we're just gonna use normal um, dead, you know, crushed gravel substrate. Um, put it in my little fancy fish bucket and we're gonna rinse it out. I assume it'll take a while, so we'll cut off at this and uh, we'll probably jump back in when we're putting the sand in upstairs. Okay, so the sand has now been washed out. We've dumped it in. I'm not gonna bother making it look pretty at the minute. I've got a load more in. I put about three quarters in, so we'll see how that is. It's likely that we'll need some more, but easier to add more than take some out really. So we're gonna start dumping all the RO water in now and then we'll mix some salt in as well. And the tank should be up and running. Got a bit of flow Rory going. Then this is the work in progress. Ignore the cables, they're going up there. And lights are on order. These are not the lights, but yeah. Just cycling it at the moment. Looks a bit boring, but it'll be all right. I want to get some stuff in.